Greetings, ZAPU members, supporters, and sympathizers. This is your president, Michael Sibangilizo Nkomo. I hope I found you well wherever you are. I address you today, the 11th day of November 2022, under the powers bestowed on me by our constitution in section 7.6.1.1, where it reads, the party president shall be the supreme executive officer of the party. And under section 2.1.5.1 of the Cadre Development Manual, which reads, the president is the political head and chief directing officer of ZAPU. And under section 2.1.5.3, of the CADA development manual, which further reads that I shall make pronouncements for and on behalf of NEC, outlining and explaining the policy or attitude of ZAPU on any question. Comrades, when we went to Congress, we set in motion a process of renewal and taking the party back to its owners, you, the people. We faced resistance from the onset, but believed that the discord was a result of contestation and it would become a thing of the past. We have allowed time, one whole year to be uh, precise, for all the aggrieved to heal. We have attempted to unite all members and deployed those who may have contested us at Congress. We have allowed our internal judicial processes to unfold without undue influences. Our judicial arm of the party decided to promote unity against retribution and we accepted their wise counsel. But today, I come to you to report that all these efforts have failed to narrow the differences between ZAPU and our comrades that you rejected at Congress. Instead, they have invested time and resources to destroy this, the People's Party, through misinformation and outright lies to decapitate the structures of the party and forming parallel structures in areas like Mpopoma and Njube in Bulawayo and Makorokoro in Mangwe district. Our security department has unearthed a ploy to divide and destroy the party in preparation to announce the formation of a breakaway political outfit in the coming days or weeks. Well, that is their constitutional right Nobody can stop them. I'm appealing to all ZAPU members to remain calm and vigilant and resist the temptation to join a group of disgruntled unelectables. We know the ringleaders, but most importantly, we know their masters and hanglers. Very soon they will all come into the open. Some of them appear genuine during the day and hold positions in our party, but they burn midnight oil to destroy ZAPU. Some of them tried with Florizi before, but just like their 1963 colleagues, they will also fail to destroy the People's Party ZAPU. My appeal to you is to work through and with formal party structures only and remain vigilant and focused the impending the impending storm in a teacup will be over before we know it may i remind you all that our mandate as the mother party is to dislodge zanu and we are prepared to do whatever it takes to dislodge zanu and we will listen to the masses as to how they want us to go about dislodging ZANU as we go for the 2023 general elections. Comrades, we have been here before. 
starting in 1963 when ZANU broke away from ZAPU, the original party. And there have been a lot of sideshows since then throughout ZAPU's life, but we have remained steadfast and resolute. City I saw the Yafa Yafa.